all right hey guys welcome back to my channel this reading here is for my Libra zodiac sign uh, before I dive into it let me just say this is a general reading so this may not resonate with you if it does everything may not be for you in this reading it could be messages for someone else so take what does and leave the rest also energies are fluid and interchangeable so energies can cross and if you need to please flip the energies that best resonate with you all right, so let's start off and go ahead and get the overall energy here uh, for Libra. What is the overall energy for Libra as far as love and relationships? All right, those popped out easy. You're ready to talk, Libra. Let go of control issues, soulmate, and express your love. All right, guys, I'm going to lay out the entire spread, okay? We're just going to do, we're going to try to do some quick readings today. Uh, so that I don't take up too much of your time here. Uh, so if you need to fast forward, go ahead, but I'm going to go ahead and lay out the entire spreads first before we dive into it. So let's clarify, let go of control issues for Libra. Let go of control issues for Libra, please. Clarify, let go of control issues for Libra. Clarify, let go of control issues for Libra, please. Thank you. Clarify soulmate for Libra, please. Thank you. Two more, please. Clarify soulmate for Libra. Clarify soulmate for Libra Zodiac sign, please. Clarify soulmate for Libra. Clarify soulmate for Libra, please. One more. Clarify soulmate for Libra. Thank you. All right. Clarify express your love for Libra, please. Clarify express your love. Thank you. Two more, please. Clarify, express your love for Libra. Okay, can I have one more? Express your love for Libra. Clarify, express your love for Libra, please. Perfect. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so give me a second. Let me get the energy from the spread here. Let's start off with the bottom of the deck, guys. For the bottom of the deck, we have the full card. So Libra, you're in the in the energy of kind of taking taking it one day at a at a time. Nothing really planned out, just kind of enjoying the moment. Okay, this is the card where you go for it. You don't think about it. It's kind of like, okay, let me toss it in the air, flip a coin. All right, let's do it. Okay, that's the kind of energy that you're in right now, Libra. It's the overall energy for the uh, spread here. And guys, forgive me if there's a lot of noise. I have this computer chair, and this chair is just not working for me. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and dive right back in. The first card, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So to clarify that, we have the King of Swords, King of Wands, and the High Priestess. So the King of Swords, all right, Libra, the King of Swords is someone who's a uh, has great communication okay great communication but is very guarded so I feel that you're guarded at this time and that you are the type of person that likes to plan out things okay so you're doing some type of planning or you're doing some type of thinking maybe I should say it's like going through your mind you're thinking about it you're thinking about the outcome you're thinking about what's to come of it um, but again, the full card is the overall energy. So it's just saying, let go of the control issues and just kind of enjoy the moment, okay? Because you're doing a lot of thinking here. The King of Wands is a passion, okay? Very passionate person. A very busy person. Um, someone that enjoys the benefits of a relationship but doesn't necessarily take, uh, take being in a commitment very well. Like... You, you get what I'm saying? Like they, they want the benefits of a, of a relationship, but don't want to just necessarily to settle down and commit. So I feel that energy is present around you as well. This could be this, the other person's energy that I'm picking up on. Or this could be your energy as well, Libra. Um, what else do we have? We have the, the high priestess here. So this is like your intuition, okay? I feel that you are more like thinking clearly, thinking things out, communicating with this person. Um, letting them know, hey, yes, I like you. I think we should do this. I think we should do that. You know, I'm interested in a relationship or whatever, whatever. But the energy that I'm picking up on is the King of Wands. So this person could be very, um, 
enjoying your company, but just not necessarily ready to settle down with you yet, okay? Um, let's see. Let's keep going and see what else I'm picking up on here. So the next card we have is Soulmate. Yes, this is your Soulmate. To clarify the Soulmate, we have Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Swords, and Ace of Pentacles. So this is like a change, okay, in dynamic here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is a change happening here. It's like a, when you think of the Wheel of Fortune, think of it as a wheel. There's constant changes always happening because it's always constantly going in a circle, constantly changing. The Nine of Swords is you having something to uh, say. It's like, it can come off maybe kind of argumentative, but it, it may not necessarily be that. But I feel that you have uh, something to say as far as a new beginning here. Some type of change has happened and you're ready for a new beginning. This this new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, though, it's a it's a worthy new beginning. Like, it's something that that's going to bring um, stability, okay, uh, with this new beginning here. So, you may be looking at it and realizing, this is my soulmate, you know. I They must know. They must feel it, you know. And I feel like um, you're coming forward and kind of letting that be known here. Maybe letting it be known that you're ready for a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see, um, we have Express Your Love. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay? To clarify this, we have the Queen of Swords, Strength, and Temperance. All right, again, you're showing up again uh, with the Queen of Swords here. So what this is telling me, Libra, is that, again, you're very guarded. You, you kind of, it's like you have to have that wall up. So this is telling me that this is your energy then. You're definitely this king of wands and this king of swords as well. You're passionate. You enjoy it. But it's like you're the one who's scared. I don't want to say scared, but you're the one who's not. I feel like you're not ready to commit. You're just kind of taking it, you know, one step at a time. You're just enjoying the moment. You're taking it one day at a time and you're just enjoying everything. And maybe that's what it is. You're, you don't want to commit because you're very guarded. And it's like... You feel this energy with this person and you're ready for this new beginning here because you feel like, wow, this is something I haven't felt before. Or, wow, this is a beginning that I wasn't expecting, you know, or this is a feeling that I wasn't expecting. But it's like you're guarded and it's like you kind of, I don't know if you, you're, you're shutting off your emotions, okay? You're, I don't want to say shutting it off. You're holding back your emotions. It's like you're thinking intellectually instead of using your heart you're like whoa you know if i let this wall down then there's a chance that i could be hurt if i let this wall down there's a chance that they could hurt me if i let them know how i truly feel but the strength card is here and this is like telling me that you have the confidence okay it's it's like your temperance with the temperance and the strength your intuition is kicking in and it's like you're hoping for the better you're wanting better and you're, you're like, okay, this is patience, this is moderation, you know, just kind of taking it one step at a time. And it's like the more that you're getting to know this person, the more comfortable you're becoming, the more confident you're becoming with this person here. So it's like now it's telling you, spirit is telling you it's okay to express your love for this person. You have a connection with them, okay? So if you want to express your love with them, go ahead. It's okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the energy of this person that's surrounding you, that you're intertwined with. Them. So what I'm getting out of this is that you feel guarded because you may have like issues where you've been hurt before and you want to protect yourself, which is completely understandable. But something about this connection with this person, like you're you're still trying to control yourself. You, It's like you're, you have this control of trying not to let your wall down too quick, trying not to fall in love too fast. Um, kind of just taking it slow, being patient, you know, taking it one day at a time. But you feel a connection with this person, like it's a connection that you haven't felt. And like everything that comes from this person is good. It's like good news. It's always something that is valuable. Like they're showing you that they are interested. And it's like the connection you're getting from them, from them is a soulmate connection here. So now it's time for you to, to express your love, to let this person know how you feel Instead of being guarded, okay? Let's see. Let's, um, what is the energy 
of this person? What is the energy of this person? Surrounding Libra here. What is the energy of this person? What is the energy of this person? What are the feelings of this person for Libra? What are the feelings? Okay. This is why you have to express your love, Libra, because I'm telling you now, this person is ready to make a move, all right? And it's like they want to move forward, okay? They're wanting to move forward with you. And they're trying to figure out, I guess because you're so patient, you know, it's it's kind of hurting them, all right? It's kind of hurting them. Like, they're looking back on it like, okay, what did I do? You know, what what's going on? You know, we've been doing this. It's like they're looking back and they feel hurt about it. So I don't know if you've been very patient and you've been guarded, so guarded that you're kind of pushing them away. But I see pain, okay? So you guys could have, let's see. Can we clarify this energy of this person with the romance card, please? Can we clarify the energy of this person that Libra is involved with? Clarify the energy of this person. Yeah. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So this person is feeling neglected, all right, because you're so guarded and you're so um, closed off because you don't want to get hurt, but you're not realizing that you're hurting them, Libra. Uh, Libra, you're actually hurting them. You're making them feel like they need to just move on from you and they're looking back and they're trying to figure out like what did what, what did I do wrong? You know, why why doesn't this person care about me? You know, what's going on? It's like you're hurting them because you're not showing them how you truly feel and I get it. You're guarded. You don't want to be hurt, but you're hurting them now and you're about to lose this person and it's time to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation where you just kind of open up to them and let them know, like, hey, look, I just kind of go with the flow because, you know, I have a fear of being hurt and I, I just don't, I don't want that to happen. And then once you have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you will begin to realize that this person feels the same way. They want the same thing that you want. And if you don't open up, then you're going to lose them. So you really need to express your love and stop trying to control your emotions. Like, stop trying to control um the way you feel okay let's see what is is there any advice any advice or clarity that you want to give Libra seek okay this person is seeking for how you feel and you also need to go meditate pray whatever it is you need to do and you need to seek for inner peace okay because what's happening is your guard your guardedness you trying to make sure you don't get hurt, you trying to make sure that um, you're not opening up too fast is running this person off and you're going to lose this person if you don't find a way to let that guard down and to let them know how you truly feel. Let's see, let's go ahead and close this reading off with a couple of cards from the Soul Manifestation Soulmate deck. Yeah, look, you want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose they're trying to stay. They're trying to hold on, but they can't hold on to something that they don't know about. It's like it's like they're trying to hold on to you, and you're not giving them any emotions, okay? You're just kind of emotionless, and they don't know what else to do. That's why they're walking away. Anything else you want to say? You are moving into a steady and reliable path, okay? So you need to move forward. Let them know how you feel, because if not, you're going to lose them, Libra. Uh, but that is what I have for you. I hope that this gives you some clarity, some insight. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.